Hello there, Ray here, and today I would like to show you guys my simple dolphin farm, which produces raw cod. This farm, like many of the other farms I've been showing recently, was designed quite a while ago during our Twitch streams. I think this one was actually designed maybe 5 months ago, so if you want to check out these farms way before I ever show them on my YouTube channel, check out my streams. My simple dolphin farm uses quite a few cool mechanics, which are similar to the ones I showed in my fish farm. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out, it's pretty neat. Link it down in the description. Early on I discovered that dolphins are able to spawn directly inside of the bubble columns, unlike fish, which they changed halfway through the snapshots. This made it really simple to farm up dolphins because they would spawn inside of the water. They don't spawn in the bottom water layer, but they need 2 meters worth of water to spawn and they will spawn in the top one. And then the bottom one can be either waterlogged blocks or any type of waterlogged substance such as bubbles or normal water. And they'll spawn up here and then what they'll do is just get pulled down by the currents and take damage from the magma blocks. And then once they have died, their item will be setting against here, being held down by the bubble columns, they won't be able to float. And then we'll have a harp of minecarts come along and pick up all the loot, take it over to the loading station, which will put all the cod into this chest here. And just like my fish farm, drowns are able to spawn inside of these farms and they can die and you can end up getting some rotten flesh as well as nautilus shells. So it's similar to my fish farm in many regards, except there's a little difference. Since the dolphins spawn directly inside of the bubble columns, you don't need to have the dolphins spawn in a sweet area where they're able to pathfind. So in theory you can build this farm as large as you want. You're only limited by the 128 meter radius in which the dolphins are able to spawn but won't be able to despawn. Anything farther than that they will be able to despawn and you won't be able to get them to die. So the dolphins are able to get pulled down by the bubble columns even if they're far away from the player. Now on this farm here I just made it similar to the farms with the fish and this is about 2 by 2 chunk area of water. And the water I got here is only 3 meters tall. You could make it only 2 meters tall. The more water you have, the more spawning spaces for the dolphins. The AFK point is similar to my fish farm, where the player AFK is high enough so that the dolphins can spawn underneath, so greater than 24 meters away from their spawning space. Now right now, I have built this farm down as low as possible. That's all inside of the first subchunk. The so spawning is incredibly fast. As you can see, the dolphins are spawning in. Now the limit of dolphins as well as other water mobs is 16 mobs. But if there's enough water, they're able to spawn in greater numbers than that. So we can just take a look at F3. You can see we have about 18 to 20 entities, depending. Remember, there's two minecarts down there as well. And this would be the ideal situation, having your farm as low as possible. This farm here will produce up to 6,000 rod cod per hour. But as you can see, it takes quite a good perimeter to make this work. So I'm going to move over to a more realistic situation. Here's the exact same farm, except I just placed it a little bit above the ocean. Now dolphins can spawn in all ocean types except for the frozen variations, they cannot spawn in those. Something we also discovered while testing is that dolphins will not spawn above sea level in deep oceans, so keep that in mind when building this farm above sea level. And although they do spawn similar to squid needing two water blocks to spawn in, they can spawn in any wide levels unlike squid, so they can spawn in the very lowest part of the world allowing you to get really fast spawns, or you can even put the farm really high up in the air to isolate them. Now this setup here for the farm is kind of the best of both worlds. Now since we don't need the player to be extremely close to the dolphins to have them start moving around and pathfinding since they'll spawn directly inside of the bubbles, we will be able to AFK really high up in the air and there is a sphere around the player that's 128 meters radius. And this allows us so for AFKing up there, they'll still be able to spawn down here, but the sphere cuts off right down here and everything below the sphere is um, area where they can despawn. So although the fish as well as the dolphins will spawn down in the oceans below, those will all despawn and only the ones that are inside this farm will be able to spawn and then stay there until the current kills them. So this farm here is built the one sub chunk above the sea level one and this allows it so you don't get any squids to spawn into it since they only spawn down there. Now you won't also get any fish to spawn inside of it because fish cannot spawn inside of the bubble columns. So you'll get exclusively just dolphins which will give you raw cod. Now, if king at the very top of the world, this farm will produce 2,000 raw cod per hour. So the AFK point for the player is up here at 190Y. And this way you're far enough away from the majority of the water so they will all spawn in there but then immediately despawn afterwards. The only problem with this is because all those fish are spawning and despawning very quickly and there's large amounts of water, it can bring down your TPS quite low because of that. Now one way to combat that is to go ahead and find a small ocean where there's majority of land around it and that way you don't have so many spawns outside of it. If you're having trouble getting the water mobs to spawn, make sure that you keep your render distance up to 12 and make sure you don't accidentally have some water mobs that are stuck in lazy processing chunks that's around in your spawn chunks. 
Now if you happen to go with a pretty productive dolphin farm, like this low down one, there is a tendency for all mobs in Minecraft to walk more in the northwest direction. So over time, mobs will all end up in the northwest corner. And this is why like in your passive mob farms, you might find them in a pen that's all stuck to the northwest corner. And this also occurs in this farm here. Over time, as you can see, the dolphins decide to pathfind. They'll eventually choose more to pathfind in the northwest corner, which is over here. And they'll end up dying more over there as well. Then when they die, what happens is that they drop items, which is the raw cod. And then other dolphins will see those items and will come over there to play with them. And you end up getting a lot of dolphins ending up dying in the exact same position. And they all end up kind of in this northwest corner. This could cause a problem because the hopper minecart could come through and pick up all those items. And that could be more items to overload it than it would never get around to picking up all the rest of the items for its half. So you can combat this by having in a couple more extra hopper minecarts, especially on the northwest side. If you would like to build this COD only farm in your very own world, I have provided the world download down in the description. A simple and unique dolphin farm. So I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you found this interesting, show me a like and share this with others. If you'd like to see more cool content like this, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell button. And if you have any questions, be sure to ask in the comments. Bye-bye.